DJ Doc DJ Dice with OH Film presents an exclusive interview with Mr. Interview Bobby with Peoples in the People's Bobby Network. What I want to do is attempt to, to do a little interview with my man so he can give y'all some insight on how this thing goes as far as making movies and incorporating movies, casting, that type of thing. I'm going to do this all in either a 10 minute or a two part video. Y'all pay attention. Your boy DJ Doc Dice with OH Films. People's Network, www.tpn1.com What's good y'all, it's your boy DJ Doc Dice right here again. I got a surprise for y'all. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Just hold tight. Your man DJ Doc Dice with OH Films. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bobby M. People Senior. How you doing, man? I'm good, how you? I'm pretty good. I wanted to ask you a few questions about uh, the project that you work on and you have a you have a business called the People's Network where you make movies you're an independent filmmaker is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay uh, if you could tell these people how to get into the business whether it be filmmaker, screenwriter, actor, actress um, you have any advice that you could give people that that are out and trying to do the same thing that you're doing? Yeah basically just, just do it you know what I'm saying um don't worry about what you don't have, use what you have. You know, uh, a lot of people, I know a lot of people say, well, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have that. So I need, they, they want to wait to get to where they got to get to. But here's the thing, it's like a catch-22. If you don't have nothing, nobody won't we'll give you nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you got to use what you got to make what you want to make. You know what I'm saying? So don't sit there and wait to get a bigger, better camera. I mean, if you got vision, then show your vision with what you have. If you, if you have like a, a one-ship camera or you have like a laptop. I mean, my first movie, all I had was a laptop and a camera that I got from Walmart for like 300 bucks. I went out and made a movie with it. And from there, people, the guy, one of my investor friends said, hey, you know, this guy got a vision. He did that with no money. Let me see what you can do for nothing. You gotta give him a few dollars. He gave me a few dollars when I made a movie called Four That I Love. Mm. Y'all probably heard about it. It's my first film when I got into Walmart, Love Buses, and things like that. We sold over 40,000 copies oh. of a movie that cost $5,000 to make. So, you know, okay. my first film cost me nothing to make because all I had was a, a camera and a laptop. And I made a movie based around what I had. So, wow. if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be where I'm at now because I said, you know what, I'm not going to let what I don't have stop me. Okay. So, um, how long have you been making movies? I've been making movies for myself since 2004, but I've been in the business since 2001. You know, I worked as a production assistant with DreamWorks, uh, Paramount, Touchstone, uh, a couple of other places. Um, if you Google my name, you see that I worked on Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 3, uh -huh. uh, the Commander in Chief, the Jenny Davis show, where she was the first female president, uh, you know, 2001 Maniacs. I worked in a couple of, you know, independent and major films, and I said, you know what? I could do this myself. And that's why I started doing my own thing. I said, I'm not working on nobody else's project anymore. I'm gonna work on my own. And I've been doing it successfully ever since. I heard that. Uh, how many movies do you have to your credit? <sighs> that I've directed? Yeah. Um, let's see. I have seven films to my credit that I've directed. And I have maybe nine films that I produce. Wow. Wow. Um, how many hats do you wear in this business? I mean, uh, from my records, it looks like you're a filmmaker, a writer, director, an actor. Where do you get the time to do all of that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's just, you know, I love what I do, so okay. it's, it's, it's not, I mean, it has to wait. It's like, okay, I, I like doing this, I like doing that. I, I spend my time up evenly doing both, because I'm also an editor, too. Oh, my goodness. Let me write that down. <laughs> Plus editor, okay. Uh... For the people that's dying to get to see some of your work before they buy the movie, what websites can they find yet? Uh, well, they have to go to my own website, well, my, own, my wife and I, uh, TPN1, uh, um, the people's people network, people network, network number one, one mm -hmm. dot com. Uh, uh, break it down, break it down to you. The people's the network, network is, is a, a, a network, network, network production, production. Um, we, have, we have Still City Pictures, which is run by DeWitt Jones, which is my, you know, my brother. Okay. Uh, we have Take Heat Production, which is a, a, one of my Christian division films, which is pretty much held, ran by Targetta Rose. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have the People's Film Company, which is my company that I had started uh, before I got with everybody else. So it, it's pretty much, the, the People's Network is three film companies under one umbrella. Which wow. is actually a distribution company, because now uh, we actually get our stuff in stores ourselves without the traditional normal distribution distributors. Um, so we're actually able now to put, you know, make a movie from the script to screen now into the marketplace. Mm -hmm. That's what that's been a goal of mine for the last two years, and I'm finally seeing that goal come into 
you know, to exist and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm happy about that. Okay, where's the People's Network based at? Uh, out of Atlanta, Georgia now. I mean, All right. This is what we call home. Um, <laughs> it's funny because everybody who's part of this People's Network is not from Atlanta. <laughs> uh -huh. But this is what we call home. So, you know, we're proud to be in Atlanta and, you know, the people who are from Atlanta are proud, proud of us to be here. Okay. I'm looking at your work myself. Uh, I would have to ask you, do you have a particular goal? Because it seems to me that you uh, sky's the limit with your projects. So where do you plan to be or where do you want to be in this business? Are you already there or do you have further goals to accomplish? Well, we, we, we're going to be a full set production company slash distributor. I mean, we want to be able to put out movies that we, we produce and also film that other filmmakers produce as well and give them that shot that other filmmakers may not have that traditional shot of getting the money or getting to an audience. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to be able to be that distributor, you know. Um, just, well, we're on that path, so I, I can't say that that's where I want to be because I'm actually walking it. Right that's now. where, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're at where we want to be. Okay. Um, it just, you know, when bigger and more money come in, we'd be even more happier, but we're fine where we're at. Okay. I heard you mention DeWitt Jones. Uh, I, I, I see in my notes also you have a Nickname from called the Mad Man. Where'd that come from? Uh, well, because see, DeWitt, he's a filmmaker's filmmaker. I mean, this guy loves film, and you know, I'm proud to call him my brother. We're not biological brothers, but uh -huh. I mean, blood could make us no closer. You know what I'm saying? So he talks about film so much. I mean, he's just <laughs> mad about it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. That's what Mad Man DeWitt Jones come in at. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> but he, he, I, I, I love him. He, he's, he's, he's cool. He's, Definitely, you know, somebody you guys are going to see a lot of them. That's mm. why I'm always mentioning his name whenever I'm, I'm around doing things like the Witt Jones. Matter of fact, we just finished his film, uh, his first family, directed called Magic Jackals. Okay. Which you were in, actually. All right, yeah, I'm in that. So, and, and several different places. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but please leave. Definitely. Um, you know, we, we're definitely trying to build up. So, we're not saying I'm a filmmaker, but I'm not just a director. You know, I, I like to see other directors and producers and writers get their chance as well, you know what I'm saying? I'm just having, I'm just having that platform and umbrella that they can actually fall under. Yeah, I noticed that about you. You have several connections and you don't you don't mind sharing those connections. Uh, to the females that, is, that are watching, I know that uh, through the course of working on the project Night of the Jackals, I've met a lot of aspiring actresses, as well as actors, but it seemed like more actresses that are dying to get into this business and get respected as a as a uh, 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 an actress, a serious actress. Do you, uh, from the people that are watching this film, do you have any uh, suggestions you can make? And is there any way that they can get on a casting call with your with your project? Uh, well, to get on my casting call is actually go to my website and join my join my newsletter that we put out. Uh, weekly or daily or whatever I feel like putting out a blast. Very busy, which yeah. Which is tpn1.com. That's how we, we do our, our casting from that. And we used to do Craigslist and other websites, but my, my list is built so popular that, you know, I've got like over 2,000 plus members in my web list alone. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what, we do audition like that from now on. That way people can actually have, have a close and personal relationship with the people's film, the people's network. Okay. And so that way they know what we're doing at all times, what movies we got coming out, where to get them and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I said, we don't sell it just on our website, but you can go to Target, Best Buy, Circuit City, Suncoast, and we're working on Walmart for our own distribution. And like I said, the first film, Falls for the Love, is in Walmart, but okay. we didn't put it there. We had a distributor put it there for it. This is the place where you can get the movie by just the by the people's and the people's network. Go check it out. Other film producers that I know who we can offer that same service to them. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to go to these other uh, fly by night distributors. Very briefly, can I go into uh, the mind of the writer on the black love stories? I've seen that a lot of places and it seemed like a very, is it a series? Uh, basically, the black love stories is you know short films are on um, love situations. Basically, uh -huh. that's what it is. Um, it's a concept that came up when I did For Thy Love. Okay. Which, if you actually look at For Thy Love, that's actually the first in the, um, a series, which is my series of my feature films, and my stories are short stories based off of my feature films mm -hmm. with, the look, with the word love in the title. And that's just a niche that I came up with. Um, I thought and I thought it stand out, and you know it, it definitely gave it where we need to go. Um, you will be seeing more from the Black Love Stories. Actually, we did um, volume one is out now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually in pre-production for volume two. Actually, we got one more chapter to shoot for volume two, um, which is chapter six, chapter four and five are in the can, <laughs> um, which is uh, directed by uh, my little sister, I call sister Erica Harris, and actually my wife, Renee. Okay. She's chapter five, and I'm actually going to do it direct chapter six mm -hmm. uh, on that series. But the first three chapters I directed, and I was co-written co by uh, a fellow writer named Jermaine Camille, who mm -hmm. wrote chapters uh, two and three for me. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, you mentioned the places that they can find these movies. Uh, one one thing that I've seen that you did a little bit different as well as finding them in Target, uh, you're going for block... Uh,